James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is September 22nd, 2023, 9 p.m. Central here in the U.S. of A. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, JPL has just released another inbound asteroid that will pass between Earth and the Moon on the 24th of September. The name is 2023 SP3. You can see it right here inbound. It's coming from a southern inclination. And as we zoom in, you can see that, and I will run it forward. We're going to get a really close pass here. Every which way you can think about it. In between us and the moon on the 24th of September, they just announced it a few moments ago. I definitely don't understand why they didn't see this with all their South Pole telescopes and all their radio telescopes. This is a big rock. This rock is over 70 feet in diameter, just like the one that exploded over Russia. And we know that could have been a deadly situation. The inbound rock asteroid 2023 SP3 is moving at 12 kilometers per second. So a fairly fast moving rock coming from below our plane going above our plane. So this just showed up on JPL's list today, but this actually was reported yesterday according to the solution date up here, September 21st. Observations, only 13 observations in eight days. Amazing. JPL, automatic, of course AI saw it, no human does anything there. Uh, more good news, we have a condition code of 7, 9 being highly uncertain, 0 being certain, much closer to 9 than 0, as you can see here. Let's see how close it's going to get. All right, with just 8 observations, they've extrapolated 5 pages of data, future and past flybys, and it looks like September 24th, 2023 is on the first page. 0 0.002 astronomical units. It is supposed to go closer to the moon than Earth when it flies between the two on the 24th. Let's see what time that's going to happen. Well, that's actually going to be 23.29 on the 24th, which actually equates to 5 p.m. Central Time on the 24th. So, this one could have some friends, as most of them do. We saw some debris falling as these other reported rocks went by. Let's keep an eye on this one, ladies and gentlemen. I'll go ahead and do an update at some point late tomorrow, because it looks like it's going to be about 48 hours before it gets here. This is the current position here, and I guess they saw it here. It's amazing that they can't detect these rocks that are this large, this one being over 70 feet in diameter with their radio telescopes. God bless you and yours. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.